Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 27th of September where I just take one of our signals from our membership area and set it up for potential fifth wave trade. So in our members area, our members get to download spreadsheets every day <coughs> with singles on, sorry, signals on potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. So in the members area, we just click on here and we see for today, the 27th September, click on the image, download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks like something like this today. Okay, a lot of potential trades on the 60 minute uh, long on the um, for the fifth wave here. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on today. There are obviously weekly and daily signals as well, but I want to concentrate on the 60 minute today on BX. Um, just one of these um, signals here so let's go and have a look at it on the chart so this is BX on the 6 minute time frame using the Ninja Trader NT8 uh, version of our Elliott Wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com as you can see I've isolated the lows down here at this low here it doesn't really matter on this low you'll still get the same sort of wave count we've got the one the two the three and the wave four pullback and that's what we're interested in that wave four pullback measuring that looking for that potential fifth wave move so let's have a look at this in closer detail on the think or swim version of our Elliott wave indicator suite again this is that wave four pullback and we're interested in that behavior so it's pulled back against the main trend it's found support in the amber support zone here which is an 80 percent probability if that support holds starts to move away 80% is going to go and hit our automated target zone up here around about 41.30, something like that, uh, 41.25 into the middle of that target zone. So that's a good probability zone. The next thing is the wave fall behavior on the 5.35 oscillator. This has pulled back between 90 and 140% during the wave fall, which is really good. And then finally down the bottom, on the bottom sub chart, we have the false breakout stochastic here in the over bought over uh, over bought zone sorry and um, we've pulled down against that eventually and crossed over in the oversold zone it will want to go back to that main bullish trend so when we do get a turn up this is all looking good all our ducks are in a row we've got these three main indicators here we've got the wave Elliott wave count the wave force pull back into a probability zone the 535 is good the stochastic's good so setting up a really good high probability picture for this potential long on bx on the 60 minute now for entry we use our six four moving average high the green moving average here for longs we want to be above yesterday's high these are all the bars on the 60 minute for yesterday so we're way above that we're outside the six four moving average high and just above this uh, little consolidation zone as well above the whole 39 dollar mark as well so 39.17 is the entry long for bx today the stop loss is below the wave four low good rejection on that wave four low yesterday and then went sideways uh, we are looking for that to hold 38.43 is the stop loss and the target is all the way up here around about 41.25 so great risk reward one to three into that target zone great risk reward we've got good some good um fresh air if you like to play with if we do get some slightly new lows today and find support early you know lower down into the amber zone or even the red zone we can adjust uh, as and as and when we need but at this moment in time we are looking for an entry at 39.17 and stop loss just below the wave for low there at 38.43. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and speak to you all tomorrow.